I've seen plenty of people in my life give their opinion when nobody asked for it, but this, this takes the whole damn cake. A beautician called Miranda posted a video on TikTok telling the world how she would fix the face of the actress from Stranger Things, Natalia Dyer. Which, let's be honest, she's already so beautiful according to the conventional beauty standards, right? Like, I mean, what, what do you want to fix here? So, if I was Natalia's injector, this is what I would do. We'd start by treating those masseters, and we all know how much I love treating masseters to help slim the face. Next, I would actually add a little bit of chin filler just to help fill out her chin and make her whole face more of like a heart shape. Now, obviously, this beautician already uh, deleted the TikTok that went viral for all the wrong reasons because she couldn't stand the backlash she was getting weak next i would add a little bit to the lips just a little bit nothing crazy just a nice powder. we all know that if everyone doesn't look like kylie jenner then they're really not worth looking at not that kylie that kylie and then we'd get in there and do a little bit of botox i'd give her a nice brow lift to help open up her eyes and to top it off we'd start working with some sculpture she does seem to have more thin skin and we want to prevent that from getting thinner and create more collagen all right let's see what the final product would give us Ta -da! all right how do we like my photoshop skills as we can tell her jaw is slimmer her chin is more pointy and her eyebrows are more lifted and gotta love that pout comment below with your thoughts do we love it do we hate it I hate it, okay, I, I really do. I don't think it looks better. And I hate even more the fact that you're out here creating stupid content, making the young audience, right, that goes around on TikTok and that possibly, you know, looks up to this actress, that you're making them think that something's wrong with their face for not looking like your end result. All in the name of promoting your business, right? So you can sell your services. You as an adult, you're almost 40 and you like to brag about how you look 20 uh, at the age of 40. Drop this book is crazy. I do it on the day. They treat me really nicely. They bomb me all these ices. Don't you Good for you. You really know what you're doing in terms of, you know, looking younger. But I also think it's important not to make people feel like shit about themselves. Hey, Luciana, do you like how your face looks? Yeah. I mean, I have some insecurities about... No problem. We can fix your face. I'm gonna start by giving you bigger lips because they're not pouty enough. Everybody gotta have the Instagram look. I'm also gonna slim down your face and remove the double chin because you're a bit on the chunky side. Next, I'm gonna inject some Botox and lift your eyebrows because you're not getting any younger, right? <laughs> and I'm done. What do you think of the final look? If someone has asked you, hey, here's my picture, right? One of your followers, like, here's my picture. Uh, I am self-conscious about this and this and this. How would I fix that? You know, that's some good content suggestions here just take it but when nobody asks just keep your mouth shut so as a plastic surgeon i believe that it is wrong to tell somebody what you think they should have done especially if that advice is not solicited look no shade to those of you who want to change your faces right i mean i am not against plastic surgery or any type of cosmetic procedures I personally would love to get some done if I had the money <laughs> and if I wasn't afraid of like, you know, fillers like moving around. There's some evidence that, yeah, it doesn't really go away. And honestly, I think a chisel jawline looks way better than a soft heart shape. Those like, you know, yeah, I forgot to contour. It looks beautiful. Like Natalia's face is gorgeous. Like she... she... <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't need those things again who am i to say who needs what but the fact that you're taking an already conventionally beautiful woman and telling her that she needs to change it just creates this feeling of frustration on people who have low self-esteem who don't like how they look they're just gonna feel like oh shit like you know it, it's unobtainable these beauty standards are unobtainable what the fuck am i supposed to do maybe natalia already thought she was gorgeous and now someone like you comes along and start pointing out all those things that Oh, could be different and this is how you can achieve that and now maybe even Natalia start like having self-esteem issues because like oh right yeah I didn't even think about that but now that you mentioned because that's how it starts you start comparing yourself and if you're going on social media with a trigger like that regularly it's really going to impact your mental health but also uh, wanting to get whatever you can done to look like these photos that you're seeing. So for me, that was getting filler. I didn't know it at the time and I was overfilled. That, that's quite a powerful 
um, message. What sort of impact do you think social media has to play? Since the invention of mirrors, we've been scrutinizing ourselves and, yeah. and had concern about our body image. Yeah. Social media takes that to the next level. There are so many studies already pointing out how social media is affecting, you know, the young generation, right? mostly girls, and their self-esteem. So we don't need more content like this. Then you come on issuing this bullshit apology saying, I was merely making suggestions. So I just want to come on here and basically clear the air. I did not mean to offend anyone, including Natalia. I was simply just offering suggestions, not on what you have to do, just on what the possibilities are. And who cares? Okay, everyone has their own preferences and not everybody needs to follow the beauty standards that you think are it. Aging gracefully is what a real lady should do. And of course, you stretch annoying. <laughs> All right, I'll leave you with that. Thanks so much for watching. If you stayed until the end, mm, a kiss on your forehead. I appreciate you. And now you can click on either one of these videos to keep watching more of my content. I could look good blonde. Yeah.